These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for May the 29th, 2022. This week's blog post is the first in a series. The series will be a timeline covering 1900 to 2021, and this week we are looking at 1900 to 1909. The pitch is, if you want to change the world, you have to know what's happening and the ideas that are behind it. People on my email list will receive a PDF, eight pages, and I would like you to tell me if you see errors or omissions. The timeline will come out as a book of 100 or so pages in 8.5 by 11 inch format at the end of the summer. There is more on this in the blog post. Second recommendation, Jean-Léon Jérôme, Pygmalion and Galatea, 1890. According to Ovid's Metamorphoses, Pygmalion, king of Cyprus, sculpted a figure in ivory so beautiful that he fell in love with it. After hearing Pygmalion wish that he could find a real woman as beautiful as the one he had sculpted, Aphrodite transformed the sculpture into a living woman. I've always read this one metaphorically as showing that if you apply yourself to mastering a subject, you can produce amazing results. The painting by Jérôme is at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, whose website notes that between 1890 and 1892, Jérôme painted and sculpted multiple versions of this story, including the marble one at the Hearst Castle in San Simeon, which I had never seen before, this one. Incidentally, the second and third recommendation are both items that appear in the timeline from 1900 to 1909. Third recommendation. Louis Sullivan, Carson Peary Scott, 1899. Located at 1 South State Street in Chicago, this building is notable for its use of steel framing and for the first use of the huge windows we associate with department stores. It's also notable for the exuberant decoration, which is based on plant motifs, but goes gorgeously beyond them. The building was commissioned from Sullivan by Schlesinger and Meyer in 1899, and went through two other owners before being leased to Carson Peary Scott, who occupied it until 2006. The building is now known as the Sullivan Center, and Target occupies part of its ground floor. The fourth recommendation this week is a really amazing set of works from the 21st century. DianeDurantiWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, architecture, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday Recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianedurantywriter.com. As always, thank you for listening.